in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, most merciful. Alif Lam Ra. This is a book which we have revealed to you, O Prophet, so that you may lead people out of darkness and into light by the will of their Lord to the path of the Almighty, the praiseworthy, Allah to whom belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. And woe to the disbelievers because of a severe torment. They are the ones who favor the life of this world over the hereafter and hinder others from the way of Allah, striving to make it appear crooked. It is they who have gone far astray. We have not sent a messenger, except in the language of his people, to clarify the message for them. Then Allah leaves whoever he wills to stray and guides whoever he wills, and he is the Almighty, all-wise. Indeed, we sent Moses with our signs, ordering him, Lead your people out of darkness and into light, and remind them of Allah's days of favor. Surely in this are signs for whoever is steadfast, grateful. Consider when Moses said to his people, Remember Allah's favor upon you, when he rescued you from the people of Pharaoh, who afflicted you with dreadful torment, slaughtering your sons and keeping your women. That was a severe test from your Lord. And remember when your Lord proclaimed, If you are grateful, I will certainly give you more. But if you are ungrateful, surely my punishment is severe. Moses added, If you along with everyone on earth were to be ungrateful, then know that Allah is indeed self-sufficient, praiseworthy. Have you not already received the stories of those who were before you, the people of Noah, Ad, Thamud, and those after them? Only Allah knows how many they were. Their messengers came to them with clear proofs, but they put their hands over their mouths and said, We totally reject what you have been sent with, and we are certainly in alarming doubt about what you are inviting us to. Their messengers asked them, is there any doubt about Allah, the originator of the heavens and the earth? He is inviting you in order to forgive your sins and delay your end until your appointed term. They argued, You are no more than humans like us. You only wish to turn us away from what our forefathers worshipped. So bring us some compelling proof. Their messengers said to them, We are indeed only humans like you but Allah favors whoever He chooses of His servants. It is not for us to bring you any proof without Allah's permission. And in Allah, let the believers put their trust. Why should we not put our trust in Allah when He has truly guided us to the very best of ways? Indeed, we will patiently endure whatever harm you may cause us. And in Allah, let the faithful put their trust. The disbelievers then threatened their messengers. We will certainly expel you from our land unless you return to our faith. So their Lord revealed to them, We will surely destroy the wrongdoers and make you reside in the land after them. This is for whoever is in awe of standing before me and fears my warning. And both sides called for judgment, so every stubborn tyrant was doomed. Awaiting them is hell, and they will be left to drink oozing pus, which they will sip with difficulty and can hardly swallow. Death will overwhelm them from every side, yet they will not be able to die. Awaiting them still is harsher torment. The parable of the deeds of those who disbelieve in their Lord is that of ashes fiercely blown away by wind on a stormy day. They will gain nothing from what they have earned. That is truly the farthest one can stray. Have you not seen that Allah created the heavens and the earth for a reason? If He wills, He can eliminate you and produce a new creation. And that is not difficult for Allah at all. They will all appear before Allah, and the lowly followers will appeal to the arrogant leaders. We were your dedicated followers. So will you then protect us from Allah's torment in any way?
they will reply, Had Allah guided us, we would have guided you. Now it is all the same for us. Whether we suffer patiently or impatiently, there is no escape for us. And Satan will say to his followers, after the judgment has been passed, Indeed, Allah has made you a true promise. I too made you a promise, but I failed you. I did not have any authority over you. I only called you, and you responded to me. So do not blame me. Blame yourselves. I cannot save you, nor can you save me. Indeed, I denounce your previous association of me with Allah and loyalty. Surely the wrongdoers will suffer a painful punishment. Those who believe and do good will be admitted into gardens, under which rivers flow, to stay there forever by the will of their Lord, where they will be greeted with peace. Do you not see how Allah compares a good word to a good tree? Its root is firm, and its branches reach the sky, always yielding its fruit in every season by the will of its Lord. This is how Allah sets forth parables for the people, so perhaps they will be mindful. And the parable of an evil word is that of an evil tree, uprooted from the earth, having no stability. Allah makes the believers steadfast with the firm word of faith in this worldly life and the hereafter, and Allah leaves the wrongdoers to stray. For Allah does what He wills. Have you not seen those disbelievers who meet Allah's favors with ingratitude and lead their own people to their doom? In hell they will burn. What an evil place for settlement. They set up equals to Allah to mislead others from His way. Say, O Prophet, enjoy yourselves. Surely your destination is the fire.